This is Magid Zaki from Qualcomm Technical Marketing. I'm showing you today our demo of CV2X Release 14 and its evolution to 5G in our biz CV2X. I will start with the first demo that focuses more on cellular V2X for automotive safety. And then I will move to the second demo showing how we are evolving the technology in Release 16 5G in our base CV2X for autonomous driving in a way that it will benefit from all the 5G in our capabilities of high throughput, low latency, and high reliability while being backward compatible with CV2X release 14. So let me start showing you what we have here as part of our trial with Ford in San Diego where we used our 9150 CV2X chipset in Ford cars to show you how CV2X direct communication would help in an emergency vehicle situation. All of us encounter that every day when you hear an emergency vehicle coming. You hear the siren, you don't know where it's coming from, you don't know what to do. As the emergency vehicle moving here, it will send a broadcast signal to all cars in the road in its vicinity, saying I am coming, this is my speed and direction, and basically it will give alert to all cars around. So we'll see now this is happening with this particular unpath vehicle, where the vehicle will get the warning once it comes in the range, or the CV2X range of the emergency vehicle. So now, yeah, you see, you see the emergency vehicle warning on the console of the car, if you look at the mirror here, you can't see the car. You cannot see the emergency vehicle coming. But through CV2X, long range and non-line of sight performance, it will be detected. It gets interesting from here when the emergency vehicle would like to make sure the intersection is clear. So it will ask the on-path vehicle if you can send me a view of what you see at the intersection. The car will agree and it will share the video. So now the emergency vehicle would have a view of what's happening at the intersection. At this time, the on-path vehicle, the white car, would pull over and the emergency vehicle will go through the intersection. Before it does that, it will communicate with the traffic light, turning the traffic light green, so get the right of the way, and will go safely to the emergency uh, situation and deal with it as it goes safely through the intersection. Here is how CV2X would help with this situation. All what you saw here is on the Qualcomm CV2X 9150 CV2X as part of our trial in San Diego. I'm showing another scenario here for 5G and R based CV2X for autonomous driving for intent share when a car is trying to do a left turn. For autonomous cars to do left turn, they have to make sure first there is a way for them or there is enough space to make the left turn. So they are more cautious by nature. So here, this car, you see here, is trying to make a left turn, but it doesn't basically know what is the intention of other cars or what are their path planning. So it will just stuck there because it couldn't find a good opportunity to make a left turn. That's why you need CV2X for autonomous driving, where when the car actually become in the same situation, and trying to make a left turn, it will know what is the intention and path planning of other cars through direct 5G and R based CV2X communication. And it will have now an opportunity to make a safer left turn, knowing that the traffic is clear and what other cars are doing on the road.